In this video, I'm going to show you seven different ways to add elements in GoodNotes. The first four ways are going to be from the toolbar. The fifth and sixth way are going to be on page. And the seventh way is going to be from the picker window in, on split screen or in a slide over. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to want to, as soon as I tap the elements, um, tool in the toolbar, you're going to want to pay attention to this area for the first two options. Okay, so tap the elements tool, and then you'll notice in that area that I just highlighted a second ago, there are recents that show up in the toolbar. So these are the elements that you've used most recently. So let's go ahead and place the first element and what I'm going to do, because we're using the tap method this time, I'm going to zoom in to where I want to place the element. And I'm going to place the center of where I want that element to go right in the middle of the screen. And I'm going to zoom in. And this is a neat trick so you can place it more accurately, more quickly. So zoom in and center it. And then tap the element in the toolbar. And that's it. That's how you place the first one. The second option is to drag and drop from the recents area in the toolbar. So this time I'm going to grab the element that I want to use and I'm going to drag it from the toolbar and I'm going to place the tip of my pencil right in the middle of the area on the page where I want to place the middle of the element. So everything is centered in good notes. So I'm going to place the tip and then drop it and lift up and then I can wiggle it around a little bit and place it more accurately if I need to. OK, so that's the first two ways. The second two ways you're going to be able to have access to your collections. So the way to do this is tap the elements tool in the toolbar. And when I say you have access to your collections, that means you get to choose from any of the different categories that you have in your elements. And if you use the recents toolbar in the toolbar, you won't be able to do this. So this is the way you can access your collections. And we're going to use the same method as we used for the first one. So first I'm going to zoom in to the area and I'm going to place the center of the area right in the middle of the window in the good notes window. I'm going to tap on the elements tool in the toolbar, and then I'm going to tap on the element that I want to place. And so it centers it right in the middle of the screen. Whatever you have on the middle of your screen, that's where it's going to place it. And the second way, or sorry, the fourth way is going to be by tapping the elements tool, and then we're going to drag and drop. And I'm, again, I'm going to place the tip of the pencil right in the middle of the area where I want to place the middle of the element. Perfect. OK, and the next way, which is going to be the fifth way, is going to be the on page picker window. You can also access your collections here. So what you're going to want to do is place the tip of your pencil right in the middle of where you want the element to be placed and just tap. You have to make sure that your element tool is selected in the GoodNotes toolbar before you do this and then tap where you want to put it and then tap the element and it places it right in the middle. Remember everything is centered. So tap in the center of where you want to place it and then tap the element. The next way is going to be drag and drop. So you can actually tap anywhere on the screen with this method and then you're going to tap and hold and then drag and drop it from the on page picker window. And then the last way, which is my very favorite, and I'll show you why in just a second, you can tap the elements in the toolbar. And then there is a little button in the upper right hand corner. And this allows you to open that picker window and split screen. OK. and this is really neat because you can see much, much more, many more 
elements that you have saved in your collection. So if you have a big collection with lots of different things, this is really good for that. And what you're going to want to do is drag and drop from here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. And I'm going to show you my absolute favorite way is to put it in the slide over. So it's the same method, but you put it in the slide over and you can um, do all kinds of stuff in your planner or in your notebook and you can just boop, pull it right back over and it's always there whenever you need it. This is, this is why it's my favorite thing to do is put it in the slide over. I'm going to put it over here on the left side. So I can then drag and drop from the slide over and I'm going to place my pencil tip right in the center of where I want it to be dropped. And that's it. So there's a few tips for placing elements in good notes. Enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Brooke and I make digital planners and notebooks. You can find my online shop at brookbot.com. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a big old thumbs up by tapping that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can bring you more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.